Hi, it's Bex. So my first video is going to be on why you should do science at university, why you should do chemistry at university. I'm actually a STEMnet ambassador, so I try to encourage people to do science, technology, engineering, maths subjects at university. Um, so I've done these talks before, but at schools and colleges, so I thought it'd be nice to do this on YouTube for people that I may maybe don't get to visit. Um, so first of all, chemistry just in general is a really good subject for getting any job. Um, you learn a lot of skills doing chemistry, things like problem solving, using um, really advanced technology, things like that. Um, so employers really like that. Um, and if you can talk about that in an interview, the types of techniques that you've used, the problem solving skills that you've got, um, they'll really, really like that. And you don't have to do chemistry as a job. You can go on to accounting, teaching. Um, I've had friends that have gone on to do medicine afterwards. Um, it's You've got like endless possibilities with the chemistry degree. Um, second of all, it's just a really interesting subject. I find it really interesting. To be honest, I only really did chemistry because I found it interesting rather than because I wanted to do a chemistry job. And also because I like CSI. Um, but CSI is not very realistic at all, and I've learned that more now that I do chemistry. Um, but chemistry is kind of involved in all aspects of life, whether that be in pharmaceutical drugs or in your LED TVs or whatever. Um, it's it's all in there. So by knowing about it, it's, it's kind of nice to know that you know a little bit more than the average person um, about just daily lifestyle things. Um, People always think that you're really clever as well when you do chemistry. When you speak to other students and they say, what what subject do you do? And you're just like, oh, I do chemistry. People are always like, oh my God, you must be so clever. Um, which isn't actually true. I don't know why people think that because I don't think any of us are that much cleverer than any other student out there. Um, but it's nice when people do think you're clever, even though you're not. Um, and you don't have to be really smart to do chemistry as long as you do work hard. But just like any other degree, you need to work hard. You need to get that 2-1 or whatever to get a good job. So it's not really any different to any other degree. Um, I'm not going to pretend it's easy. Um, but it's, it's a really interesting subject. It's a good subject to do. Um, and personally, I took it because I had a really good teacher at GCSE. And he made me really passionate about chemistry. He, the way he talked about chemistry made me think like it was a really cool subject. Um, and then at A-level, again, I had really good tutors. Um, and so I just thought, yeah, I couldn't really think of any other subject I wanted to do. Um, so I took chemistry and I was kind of good at it as well. Um, but I found that at university, it was a lot more interesting. There were some topics that I was like, oh my God, I don't want to do this anymore. Um, but generally, chemistry was really good. So I really liked that. And that's why I think that you should do chemistry. Um, so let me know in the comments below if you do chemistry or if you do any kind of STEM subject or if you're a STEM ambassador um, and let me know what other videos you'd like me to do. Also a really quick shout out to Professor David York. If you're interested in doing chemistry then you should totally check out his channel because he's got some really cool videos about um, chemistry um, and about university so go and have a look at his channel.